and welcome back to Let's Play Magical Star Sign. They are still going at it. But anyways, uh, last time, so Bear kind of ran off to the east. We should probably go after her. And unfortunately, since the town is kind of being occupied by enemy pirates, everything is closed. So no items and no healing. Oh well. Actually, you know what? I kind of want to try something. Let's try moving Mocha to the back row for a battle. Because I think he's still being powered up by his planet. He is. I want to see something. Let's see how much damage we can do to a group of pirates with the powered up earth magic. Also, my party looks so weird with him in the back. Unfortunately, since he is the slowest, he's going to go last. So we might as well just soften everyone up for him. And I have to actually remember to move him back to the front after this. And at some point I probably should show off uh, Chai's new spell. Actually, I'll probably show that off in the next major boss battle. Because the defense boost is kind of helpful if you're dealing with, like, elemental weaknesses. Alright, oh wait, no, I was going to say we should probably have Mocha show it off, but first we have to go through a few attacks. Fortunately, they don't hurt too much, although I am being kind of bad at defending. And they really hate Chai for some reason. Hopefully he doesn't die, because uh, I kind of want him to gain experience. Nope. No, that's one battle we're not getting experience for him. Oh well. We can just use Bean Pops later to make up for any differences in experience. Also, I'm pretty sure this is the first time we've ever shown off his multi-hit attacks. Yeah, they kind of hurt. And I'll worry about getting Chai up later. Actually, I want to run and heal anyway, so it'll be fine. Actually, no. We can just do it now. Uh, do I have any more wakey... Oh, I only have one more wakey tail. Uh, this is fine. Next time I see some for sale, though, I'm gonna buy, like, a bunch of them. And the enemies continue their hatred for him. Oh, well. Oh, I didn't know that lower defense. Also, why is Lassie going again? I know she's fast, but I didn't think she was that fast. Alright, before we move on, though... We should probably head back and heal, considering I don't have any more wakey tails to use. So let's just make a quick warp point here and I'll just run and heal. So I'll be right back. Alright, so I ran off and basically got myself all healed up. And I also stayed at the oop. I stayed at the inn a few times just to make sure I got the plants in the right place. So let's move on. Oh, hi, Pico. But anyway, so Bear's right there. Let's just grab her and, uh... Yeah, it wouldn't be that easy. That is one ugly fish. But anyways, right before the battle, Pico rejoins the party. Unfortunately, Pico's gonna be kinda useless in this next battle. Mostly because this guy is kind of a water elemental monster, and, uh, he's fire elemental, so... Right now, honestly, this guy might be able to... Actually, no, he probably won't be able to one-shot him yet. If, uh, water was powered up, he would. Oh, speaking of powered up... I did stay at the inn a couple of times. Just so I could get the, uh, Earth Planet, like, closer to the beginning of its cycle. So, let's power Mocha up. And we're just going to lay the hurt on this guy. Also, this is why we don't want water to be powered up. Because he can use Hailstorm. And if he uses that on Pico while powered up, there's a good chance he'll one-shot him. And just to make sure that doesn't happen, we're actually going to boost his defense. So let's just raise his defense and his spirit so he won't die. 
Because I do want him to get experience from this battle. And we'll just have to go all now on this guy. This boss honestly isn't that threatening, as long as we make sure that he doesn't get powered up. So, let's see how much a uh, powered up stalagmiter will do. And it does exactly... Over 1700, not bad. But anyways, let's take a quick look at Pico. So, Pico is pretty much... He's actually pretty well balanced. He kind of strays more towards strength and magic, but overall, he is a real powerhouse. Unfortunately, having uh, fire magic against a water monster, he won't be super helpful. Yeah, that's his most powerful spell. In the end game, though, he is pretty much one of the most damaging characters in the party. Also, let's make sure nobody dies. Also, since he is kind of physically oriented, it's good to put him in the front row. Although, I'm pretty sure his sec- I think either his second or his third spell can, uh, cause burns. But either way, just unleash all the most powerful magic we have, and this guy should go down like a few turns. It also helps that the main character is also powered up with nighttime. So, Shadow Dies do quite a bit of damage too. There we go. Pretty simple boss as long as you don't get unlucky. Also, I'm pretty sure we saw all of his attacks too. But anyways, now that that fish is dealt with, let's just grab our last friend and just get out of here. And yeah, she can handle herself. I mean, he's not wrong. Our rocket would melt in that atmosphere, but there's no real point going after him. Or not. Well, that's a problem. So, they're kind of heading to the fire planet. Unfortunately, our rocket can't actually handle the trip there. Oh well. Well, we'll find some way to get them back. After a good nap. No, we're not awake. Go to bed. Oh yeah, he's never seen the rocket. I was going to say we did bring him onto the rocket once, but I just realized he wasn't in the party then. But yeah, this is the first time he's seen the rocket, hasn't he? Also, I do like the nice touch that the top screen shows off like the, the uh, landscape of the planet you're on. Also, I just realized, this rocket really doesn't have a place to sleep, considering we just stuck all of our friends on the floor. Also, I'm pretty sure at this point the party's mostly nocturnal, considering I do all my adventuring at night. But it's daytime now, we should probably get out of here. So yeah, fire is kind of a problem. We don't really have any heat shields on the rocket yet. <laughs> I 
Uh, Pico, we know who you are. You've already been in the party once. But yeah, he is our fire mage. Oh yeah, that's right. He can make beans pop with fire magic. I don't think I ever use that. But anyways, we need to get out of here. So yeah, unfortunately, we can't really follow them to resin. Like everybody's been saying, our ship cannot handle the heat. But let's head back real quick. Uh, let's get on board the rocket first. And let's see... Where would be a good place to figure out where to get some... Ice shielding, maybe? Maybe the water plant would be a good place to go. Plus, that is where we got our rocket fixed before. So yeah, this is the part of the game where you actually have to figure out where you're going. Fortunately, it is pretty obvious. Let's go to the one place where we actually got our A, got our rocket fixed before, and B is covered in water and ice. Well, water now. Not so much ice anymore. Huh, well that was convenient. But yeah, we should probably let him work on the rocket. And of course it wouldn't be that easy. Fortunately, it seems the otters just have it, so let's just run and grab it. So, off to the village. Unfortunately, I don't think we can warp right now. Because sometimes the game does make it so you can't warp. Yeah, we can't go right now. We're gonna have to walk. Also, let's take a quick look at Pico. Like Chai, he comes in completely without equipment. So let's just give him what we have left over. Uh, fortunately, since we did upgrade recently, we do have a lot of stuff that he can use. So let's put him in long johns. I might want to give him better armor soon. Uh, which one does he use better? Put him cat feet and totem studs. It'll make him a bit tankier. Anyways, off to the village. Uh, do we need to heal right now? Actually, no, we just slept. We're fine. And I think we're still good on sugar stars. Alright, off to the village. I did move forward a bit off screen on accident. Oh well. And more frogs. Unfortunately, we should also be careful around these frogs. Uh, like I said, this is about the point of the game where that can happen. Yeah, you know what? At this point, we make enough money that we can, you know, just not try to pick up frogs anymore. Frogs kind of hurt. But anyways, there's some rubber boots in here. I'm not sure why he was keeping rubber boots, because I'm pretty sure Mocha doesn't have feet, but oh well. Uh, are these any good? These are not feet. They're not bad. We'll just stick him on Pico just because he could do something better. Anyways, villages right here past all these... Where are these called again? Turnips? Oh, uh, radishes. That's right. Tutorial radishes. We don't really need to talk to them at all. Oh, more enemies. Alright, we're right outside the village. So we won't have to worry about random encounters. Hi, Space Police. What are you doing here? This can't be good. You know, considering the last time we saw the Space Police, we kind of drugged the entire building and broke in to their headquarters. That's right after beating up one of their officers. Fortunately, they don't seem to recognize us. Unfortunately, they are kind of not letting us into the village. Fortunately, we do have someone on our side. But yeah, at least someone is friendly to us. And not horribly corrupt. So yeah, getting that particle might be a bit more difficult than we thought. 
fortunately the town is still functioning pretty well, so we can just still, uh, still stay at the inn. So let's just heal up real quick, and we might as well just stay till morning. It would probably be good to actually explore during the day instead of at night. I have a feeling that my friends are probably getting annoyed at having to go out at the crack of, du of dusk. But it powers up my magic, so it's all worth it. Yeah, the Space Police did take care of the pirates. Unfor Actually, technically, we took care of the pirates. Unfortunately, the Space Police are kind of worse than the pirates, apparently. So yeah, we should probably go find that particle before they do. We kind of need it for our rocket. I mean, we just did. Hmm, wonder where they could be keeping it. Palmer, you know who he is. You referred her to us. Let's try looking over here. Or not. Alright, so never mind. We can't go that way. Hmm, I wonder. Well, we could try asking the one detective who doesn't want to arrest us. Or is even remotely corrupt. Uh, sure. Why not? Alright, so the plan is basically have him distract everyone and just sneak on by. Really slowly. Well, at least he's doing what his job. So let's just head over here. Actually, before we do, I wonder, can we just talk to them? Hi there! Nope, not even gonna pay attention to me, huh? Even as you stick your face into my friend. Yeah, fortunately they're kind of not very observant. But anyways, there is a reason I wanted it to be daytime when I headed over here. Uh, let me just make sure everyone's sealed up in the and are in the correct rows. Alright, we should be good. So let's do this. Remember earlier when we came over here, we couldn't actually get past anything because it was all—it was basically a giant frozen wall. Well, now, it's a, now that that now that it's unfrozen, we might be able to get through if it weren't for the fact that there are pirates everywhere. Fortunately, we've dealt with pirates before. Unfortunately, they brought. Yep, Mr. Mr. Chard, Master Chard is back. I like puppet shows. But yeah, it wouldn't be that easy. So, who's ready for another insanely difficult boss fight? Actually, it's not super difficult, but there is a reason I wanted it to be daytime. So the first things for, first things first, we need to take care of his- oh no. Actually they can't use magic so this is fine. But this is pretty much the reason I didn't want it to be nighttime, even though it would power up the main character. It would also power him up. And that's kind of the last thing I want, uh, at least not until I can beat up his friends. We want to get him alone before we turn in, into nighttime. Because if everyone focused attacks on one party member, they would probably die that turn. So we just want to focus these guys down one by one. Unfortunately, we did lose the bonus for Mocha. Otherwise, he would probably make short work of these guys. Actually, what are the planets like right now? Oh yeah, that's not going to happen. I was going to say if it was close to being in the Earth Quadrant, we could just move it, but... Using all of our MP, I'm pretty sure we could move it all the way around the, the uh, system. Huh? 
Also, we should probably make sure nobody dies, considering I still don't have any wakey tails. Fortunately, though, since the otters can't use magic, they're not that big of a threat when powered up. That being said, I still want to be super careful. And the faster we can take out these, uh, pirates, the less threat they'll be. Because they can also lower our defense, which is really bad for a certain attack that, uh, Char can do. Please don't attack the main character. I don't... Okay, good. You attacked Mocha. That is fine. He can take a hit. Or several. Uh, I'm just gonna be really careful and actually use a blue frog right now. Alright, so, uh, how are we doing in terms of health? We're fine. We'll just keep hitting them with the offensive magic. Eventually, Lassie will start turning into a full-time healer once the pirates are down. Oh good, we got a dizzy one. Awesome, he's probably not going to do that much damage anymore then. Because Dizzy does just basically lower all your stats. It doesn't actually stop any attacks, it just lowers your stats. Alright, so one or two more turns of attacks and these pirates should be down. Oh, Leaping Slash. Okay, good. I probably do want to throw out a healing wind soon. Especially- actually, wait, that's not gonna help you at all. You're dark elemental. Huh, I've never seen that happen before. He'll do that sometimes when your party's powered up, but I don't know why he moved them around that time. Oh well, less damage. Anyways. Let's just keep pounding away at these guys. But yeah, enemies will basically use Celestial Swap to power down your allies. Although sometimes if you're the same element as them, they'll inadvertently power themselves down. Kinda love the AI sometimes. Yeah, let's throw out a Healing Wind. Or Healing Wind. Healing Wing. Better safe than sorry. Uh-oh, night time. Yeah, we're gonna need to take out that pirate. Cause now Chart is going to hurt. A lot. Fortunately, one or two more attacks should take this guy out. And then we can just all focus fire on him. Speaking of focus fire, let's burn him. Yeah, I think it's his level 3 spell that can inflict, uh, Scorch is what it's called in this game. Which is really good, because that's basically Paralysis. For some reason, the burn status is the one that makes it so they can't move. Although there isn't really an electric status in this game, so or an electric element in this game, so I guess that makes sense. Alright, there we go. Now we can just focus everything on him. Provi oh, that's not good. So yeah, this is why I wanted it to be daytime. Well, Lassie's down for the count. And I don't have any wakey tails, so she's gonna have to stay down. Alright. But we should be okay, as long as he doesn't try that again. I think everyone else is tanky enough to actually take hits. Also, it would help if I could get spell strikes off. Alright, we're still good. So, right now the main character is probably going to be the one uh, doing the most damage, so he's going to be on offense duty the entire time. Honestly, Pico probably has enough MP to do one more big spell. So, let me see. Oh, sorry about that, my recording was being weird for a second. Uh, you know what, he's going to be on full healing duty right now. I'm kind of bracing myself for one attack. Honestly, we might want to move Chai in the back row and have him boost everyone else's defense. 
Actually, honestly, Chai would probably be better on Healing Duty right now, because his second spell isn't actually an attack spell. But I did not expect him to one- Ooh, Thorny. Awesome. I did not expect him to one-shot Lassie like that. Considering we're not really that underleveled. We are a bit underleveled, but uh, not too much that I that would happen. Also, he's doing this again. Alright, one more turn, I don't have to deal with him. I honestly have no idea what he's doing, but Thorny is actually going to help quite a bit, because I think it's percentage-based. So every time he does an action, he is pretty much just going to hurt himself. Also, he is getting relatively low on HP already. Good. He can do one major attack uh, that can pretty much one-shot our party if we're not careful. So remember how he used Pointer Finger before? Well, sometimes he can uh, target your party members with that. And then after that, he'll do a giant physical attack that'll do a massive amount of damage. And even more damage on the person he targeted. Fortunately, right now, he is just happy to spam Shadow Die. Unfortunately, Pico seems to be getting the worst of it. Uh, you know what? Mocha, you're now on healing duty because you're kind of out of MP. Actually, do I have any... No, I don't. I was going to say, do I have anything that can revive? No, not really. Alright, more green frogs for Pico. Oh, we should probably turn that off. Alright, more shadow dies. Uh, how are we doing on health? Yeah, you know what, let's keep healing Pico. I don't want him to go down right now. He can still do damage. Oh, here we go. And, yeah, you really don't like Pico right now. Alright, uh, you know what? Just start defending like crazy. Mocha, you can take a hit, so just max him out. Hopefully I can take him out this turn, otherwise we might be in trouble. Because without Lassie, we don't really have any way to fully heal our party. Or do a multi-heal. Oh, that didn't- that wasn't a spell strike. Alright, oh, never mind. Normally he does a giant kick that hits everyone in the party, but I do not know what his obsession with Celestial Swap is right now. Either way, that lock-on status is going to stay on Pico, so I'm actually going to boost his defense. And then next turn, I think we, I'll probably have Pico continue guarding. Oh, it's daytime. Oh, here it comes. Huh. Usually that does more damage. Although Pico is kind of really tanky right now. But yeah, if he wasn't guarding and had boosted defense, that might have actually one-shot him. Because I think Lock-On actually doubles the amount of damage they take. Fortunately, at this point of the battle, we probably have him. Unless he does something crazy. Like, start spamming Sky High Kick. Which I'm pretty sure he can't do, but I would not put it past him right now. Either that, or he'll probably just keep spamming Celestial Swap. But we got him. Unfortunately, Lassie couldn't get this level, but oh well. She'll be fine. I'll just have to remember to use all my Bean Pops on her for a while. But yeah, that battle can be horrible if you go in, like, at night time. Just because he'll be spamming shadow dies while you're dealing with the pirates. Hmm... This might be a bad idea. You know, we could just finish him off. Nobody would know. Also, is it 
protocol to let the prisoners go off by themselves. Well, that was interesting. But anyways, wonder what's up with this wall. We'll find out next time on Let's Play Magical Star Sign. Also, I probably should go heal, considering Lassie's kind of unconscious. So, till then.